Hey, Hancho Cartier, what's going on, man? What's up, man? We brought you in for, brought you in for this interview today. How you feeling today, man? Shit, chilling, man. I'm feeling good, man. In the studio, you feel me? Working, working on this project. Trying to get this shit out here. Bet, bet, bet. What, um, what project are you working on right now? To that for Ra. That's the album and shit that I'm trying to put out. Saying, uh, I like a tall track song. You know, features on there. Can't disclose too much, though. You feel me? <laughs> um, so that for Rav. Do you have any uh, date on when it's dropping or no? No, no date yet. No date. I mean, I see we got you in the studio right now, so obviously you're probably working the drum right now, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay. You got any projects that you um that you got already that you want people to listen to? Um, I got like like two projects out right now. Um, EP, uh, EP in a mixtape. Um, Cardi going crazy. That's part one. I'm gonna drop part two soon. You feel me? I definitely. Um, I got uh, for the week that I dropped it's an EP, four tracks. Feel me? Got my man Main Millions on there. Shit, hot man. Go tune in, man. Rush that. Bet. Um, where can everybody find them? Is it on like Apple Music or like SoundCloud? All platforms. All platforms. All right, bet. So we going right now. We going like kind of get like, a little bit deep with like your personal life, um, etc. So just kind of get prepared for that. Um. So first off, like, where you from? I'm from North, I'm from North Philly, man. Born and raised, Joe Ray Mansion side. Hey, you from the hood? <laughs> what uh? Five hundred, man. What uh? Blocks are you from exactly? You don't want to tell all that. Oh, I'm from um, from Marshall Street, man. Uh, feel me, Marston, Cumberland, all down that strip, man. But, but you don't clean like anything else. It's just North, hundred percent. Uh, I right, bet, bet. Um, so we both know that North is like crazy, you know. Uh, like it ain't like no war or nothing, but it's like like stepping outside every day, you like kind of risking. Like that's anywhere for real, for real. But North is that's where like you know mostly everything happens at in uh, Philadelphia where we at right now. Um, so like, what are like some of the hardship hardships um that you go through this? This being in North, or like when you was in North, like I'm still living in North. <laughs> you know, just not that side, but I'm still in North. You know, I'm, I'm around, for real, for real. But uh, like, I mean, that should that should just like any other hood. Like, feel me? You go outside, you don't know you gonna make it back to the crib, shit like that. Like, like just going through a lot of shit, like losing people, like all types of shit, man. Like. So it's best to, like, you just stay out the way and get money, you feel me? Like, yeah, no, I feel you in that. Um, so, as far as losing people, have you lost, like, anybody that's, like, um, like very close to you or just, like, people that you kind of just hung around or, like, yeah. can you, like, go into detail about that? Like, yeah, I lost my cousin, man, seven games. This shit, this shit tatted on my skin, man. Y'all can see that shit. Shit tatted on my skin. For real. Nah, I lost my cousin, man. He's a thorough nigga. Like, a rat. He's a thorough nigga. Like, anything. Like, he'll come, he'll come to you with anything. Like, you talk to him about anything. Like, so that shit really, that shit really hit the heart. That shit really made me start turning that shit up with my music shit. Way of thinking, you feel me? Like, just like, in my surroundings, for real, for real. You know, I feel you in that, uh... Rest in peace, Reef, too. Feel me? Rest in peace, Kurt. Like, I don't know, man. Rest in peace, Ron, too. Ron, nine on my skin. Like, shit. You know, sometimes that's what it take. It take, um... Take for somebody to, like, pass away or something crazy to happen for you to, like, really tap into what you're doing. Yeah. For you to really, like, start to, like, for it to click. Where you're like, damn, I really gotta make it. I really gotta, um, gotta get out of here, you know? Yeah. That should be crazy sometimes. Um, so, as far as the music and, um, people you hang around, do, uh, you have, like, any other artists or any friends that's artists too that you work with? Yeah, I got, um, I got my blood cousin, man, May Millions, uh, my man, K Fabe. Torch. Uh, it's a couple of us, for real, for real. Seven game shit, man. You 
feel me? All that peace shit. All that, like, my man, Yolo Guapo, for sure, for sure. You feel me? That's my guy. Yeah, go check, go check all this shit out, for real, for real. Go check all this shit out, man. You know, everybody around me hot. Whole camp on some shit. Whole camp on some shit. This, this would probably be a weird question for you, but, um, so who the hot hot of all y'all? <laughs> we all hot. <laughs> we all hot. You feel me? Like, like, ain't no, ain't no, like, no, no competition shit. You feel me? If one make it, then that is what it is. Everybody put each other on. This ain't no crab in the barrel shit. You feel me? Like, we brothers. You know, that's how it's supposed to be. A lot of, uh, especially, in, especially in Philly, everybody knows the crab in the barrel city. No offense, but that's what, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Nobody want to really watch somebody else succeed or go above them. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to bring each other down or keep them on the same level as them. Um, that's one of the main the main uh, reasons, Philly, why people can't make it. Whether you're an artist or you could be a business owner, whatever the case may be. It's like, it's a crab in a barrel city. Um, but these artists of yours or these... Uh, friends or um of yours that's artists um do y'all like work on like stuff together do y'all have songs together do y'all like have projects all together no we haven't got no projects yet you feel me um that shit coming soon for sure for sure everybody just working on themselves right now we come together we come together like this shit just a masterpiece like i ain't gonna hold you but um like me and main million got us got songs Torch, Kefi, and we got tracks together and shit. And my man Yo Guapo too. And my man Dash too. My man Dash Milo. We got some shit to ready to come too, man. So we got lock in for sure, for sure. Bad, bad. Um, so I listen. I mean, we knew each other for years, uh, Hunch. Um, so I listened to some of your music. Um, I never even told you too. You had sent me a song. I forgot what it's called, but it's in my Apple. Uh, it's in my playlist, John. I think it's uh, damn, I can't remember the name of it, but I still listen to that shit. If I can find it, let me try to pull it up right now. Actually, let me try to pull it up right now. How you spell your name? Up music. H U N C H O. I got it right here. It's trying to ball. I got the joint on my playlist right there. Yeah, rush that too. Yeah, <laughs> up, I listen to that shit. Um, but anyway, as far as like, um, I listen to your songs, like your sound. It's kind of like uh, you rapping, obviously. It does like a, like a soft like uh, melody you throw in there. Like, can you like explain like your sound? Like, I guess what, like how it came about. Like, just trying to perfect my craft. Like, I always wasn't like like good at as good as I am now. Feel me? Like it just it took a, it took a while. Like I've been doing music for a couple of years now. Like and I'm like I'm really starting to take this shit like really serious now. Like far as like putting out bodies of work, uh, videos, like all types of shit. So yeah. Bet bet. Um, as far as auto tune, right? It's like a big topic, I guess. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people like I guess need it, some people don't. Like what's like your um like your take on auto tune like? I fuck with auto tune. I mean, depending on what song you doing, like 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 for me, like if I'm doing like some like I don't know how to explain it, like some like high vocal shit or some shit like that. I probably throw some tune on there, but if I'm like I'm just like rapping the scene at the same time, then I will just like use my voice. Like. Yeah, I feel you. Like when you trying to like really hit a high note or something, and you can't like I guess. Like actually sing, that's when that auto tune kick in. That shit really, that should really help out. Um, so, as far as like your yeah, um, like being in the studio, like we did a vlog the other day, and I guess I saw like a um, like sort of uh, a little snippet of like what the studio session is like, yeah. but I don't know if that was like the full like version. Um. Could you explain, like, how your studio sessions usually go? Like, who you bring, if you have, like, you know, like, which favorite studio snack or little shit like that? <laughs> Water yeah, you got one. That's my snack right there. But no, though, I don't. I bring, I, bring, I bring the gang with me, man. Like, I bring the gang with me. Everybody has to support me, you feel me? I want them around me. Like, like my man Tiz, you feel me? That's my guy, man. He's been with me for a long ass time. Real shit. 
that. Yeah, it ain't nothing like um like uh I guess knowing people that you knew for a long time is loyal. That's 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 really hard to find. Yeah. Like people that you like known for a little minute that's still in your life. That's everything thorough, everything straight. Cause some niggas they uh they fool with you over the smallest thing, you know, like money or a, your girl or like the smallest thing that shit could break a bond that easy. So I still get joined that y'all still cool. Um so your favorite artist is Dirk, right? Or no, I'm wrong. Who your favorite artist? Me. Oh it's you, alright. <laughs> but it wasn't Dirk in the past though. It wasn't Dirkin' that. Fuck with Dirk, don't get me wrong. Fuck with Dirk, you feel me? But I want to say it's my, like my favorite artist. Like, yeah, like, he had some inspiration to it, you feel me? Like, I want to say Dirk just came out. Like, yeah, like, like, they, they gotta be up there on that level, you feel me? In, in due time, like, for real. Yeah, you know, for sure, you gotta put the work in. Um, so I'm guessing you wouldn't compare yourself to another artist, like, I guess mainstream, not even a little bit. If I took bits and pieces, like from like a fucking like a high artist or some shit, like, like I still mix it in a way like creating my own shit, like creating my own sound. Like my sound is different. I can switch up any time. I'm real versatile. So, like, you know, it makes sense. Makes sense. You know, when um some motherfuckers just bite exactly off a of, off a of nigga sound, like and don't even and don't even like care. Like, I done had somebody come to my studio and, like, um, record a song, and the shit sounded exactly like fucking NBA Youngboy and shit. Um, the flow, I think almost damn near the lyrics, everything sounded just like, I don't know what song it was, but that shit was crazy. Um, but yeah, no, so that's a good joint. That's, that's how you're supposed to do it, though. Like, take, like, little bits and pieces and kind of, like, throw it into your own, like, um, and make your own thing out of it. Yeah. Like, kind of what Kanye do, he use, like, little samples and shit. And he create his own shit. And that shit just be like fucking crazy. Um, so as far as like your goals with uh, music, like, I guess, where do you see where do you see yourself in the next five years uh, with music? Uh, I ain't rapping for fun. I'm rapping for fun. So I'm trying to see myself in five years. Like you said five to ten, five to ten. Yeah, you can say five to ten years. Yeah. I'm trying to be up there, way up. Got the potential to do that shit too, man. I just sometimes I be I be bullshit. I ain't gonna hold you, but I'm in this shit now, like full throttle. Like y'all gonna be y'all gonna be seeing me real soon. Bet, bet. Um, yeah, no, you just have the potential. Um, you gotta keep grinding, man. That shit's like a day in day out thing. Like you can't really take no days off. Either if you're not in the studio, you gotta be writing. Yeah. You gotta be listening to beats. Performing, networking, networking is like a big thing you gotta be doing. Like networking is like fucking, it's like everything. It's like who you know, you can be the hottest motherfucker. But if you don't know nobody, yeah, for sure. you're not going. Like I'm not gonna say you're not gonna get put on, but it's like it's kind of like it's harder to, to make that next uh that next jump. Um, that's just how it is though. Nigga can be ass or corny. He know the right person. He get plugged in. Next thing you know, he on he on tours and shit. And he Fucking yeah, traveling. Don't take time these days. Feel me? You know what I mean? You don't even take that. Like, if you know the right motherfuckers or you got the money, you be ass and still be on some shit. Like, <laughs> real Yeah, you know, real shit. Um, so we can get like a little bit, uh, a little personal now, all right? Um, so as far as, like, I guess your parents, like, you have your mom and your daddy in life, right? Streaks a lot, so you feel me. I mean, I don't blame him for it. You gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, yeah my, my pop in my life now, you feel me? Real nigga too, like a rat. All right, cool. Let me know. I'm gonna ask you these questions, but let me know if I get too personal. If I get too personal, just say no, I'm cool. I don't wanna answer. I don't wanna, um, you know, get too confused, nothing like that. Um, but as far as like your upbringing, like, uh, were you raised by like your mom and your dad together, or like how how did that? Uh, so like, this your mom you said. Yeah. Um, so you lived with your mom when you were younger. Yeah. Um, 
So, was your daddy in life when you were younger? Uh, he was in my life for a little bit, but like, say like, from like my middle school years, like he was booked and shit, so like, like that's when I started really transitioning and becoming like, like, like bad, I guess you could say bad and shit like that, like, and just in a way. Yeah, nah, see, he was all experienced, uh, going through different stuff, um, could just, like, I guess, uh, change your mindset, like, your personality, yeah. emotions, like, et cetera, and just, um, make you something that you, I guess you don't want to be, or sometimes you do want to be, depends on, depending on, you know, what you want, um, but you said you are cool with your dad now, right, yeah, got a good relationship, um, so, I know you got a, you got a child, you got a kid. Um, how old is your kid? Yeah, um, do you want to say her name? No. Oh, name. All right. <laughs> no, that's what I said. You know, if I, if it get too personal, then um. Yeah, that's my, that's, that's, that's my homie, man. That's my, that's my heart right there, real shit. Like, you said she eight months. You said. All right, cool, cool. That's 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 that on that topic. I don't want to get too deep on that. Yeah, your child. Um. So it's I guess as far as the music, right? Uh. In the lyrics, do you, uh, I guess, have you ever been through some stuff you said, or have you ever, um, I guess... Saying everything in my raps is real, true. Ain't no rap cat at all, <laughs> whatsoever. Like, I ain't one of those, you feel me? Like, real shit, but... Sorry, all, that, all that pain shit, all that street shit, that shit is real, that shit. What I've been through, my surroundings, like, everything real. I ain't telling another nigga's story. Bad, bad, no, because a lot of motherfuckers do that, though. They, um, they rap it because it sound hot. They spit it because it sound hot or because they think it's going to blow. I mean, I, which I think is, I think, I guess it's cool, but I don't know. I, I'm kind of mixed on that because, like, some motherfuckers out there actually doing that shit and they really living that shit. And these motherfuckers just doing it, to, I guess, run up a bag, which, like I said, it's kind of half and half. I'm kind of mixed on it, but it's like. I mean, I feel like you should just be yourself. Ten times better. The crowd that you aiming for, you feel me? Like you being yourself might just be your crowd. Be more natural, yeah. yeah. I feel you on that. Um, so I asked you about the music and like your goals for the music. Um, what are your goals on like? Um, I guess your personal life. Let's just say, for instance, right? If um the music like it don't work out, or let's just say, like if it don't work out, or you don't. I guess you know I've seen the results you want to see, and you kind of like take a step back. Um, what would be like the next step for you? Do you have a, do you have a backup plan? Do you have like something else you got like interest in, like a career? This shit, this shit definitely gonna work out. I'm pushing full throttle. You feel me? But I always keep a backup plan in the tuck. That's why I, that's why I invest your money, man. You feel me? Like this music shit for me is just a platform on to what I really want to do. I want to make money in my sleep. I ain't trying to keep grinding forever, and I don't want to be no fuck. <laughs> nah, I feel you in that, man. They have you working 80 hours a week, busting your ass, and it never really amounts to nothing except just to pay your bill, your rent every month, your mortgage, whatever the case may be. Um, so it's no plan B. It's like, yo, this is this is it. Like, this this shit gonna work out. The music gonna work out. No, I'm going for a thousand of shit, but I, like I said, like investments. You feel me? Like, you gotta put your put your money into other shit. You can't just put it all in one basket. How you be fucked up and be discouraged and like <laughs> if the shit don't work out then you just assed out. Yeah, I feel you on that. That's a good way to think about it because um, motherfuckers get a couple dollars like the income tax, like a little check. They just blow it on fucking like designer and shit or dumb shit. You get spent that them couple racks um threw it into some stocks or fucking I don't know got a vending machine or yeah, sure. even went in the booth with this shit you know or bought some beats etc. Um, so that's actually smart that you, uh, that, that's, that, that's even on your mind for you to do that. Cause a lot of motherfuckers, it's not on your mind to do that. Um, it's not on your mind to do that. So, um, we getting towards the end of the interview right here. Um, 
do you want to, like, shout anybody out or, like, say any last words or, like, you know, a little yeah. closing statement? And then shout out to my man Keith D. Shout out to my man Millions. My man Tiz, you feel me? And shout out to Greenlight Studios. Fucking Ron Torch, Yo Blapo, Dash Milo. You feel me? Old Sammy Gang shit. Alright, bet. It was nice talking to you, man. Until next time. Yeah, for sure.